With YouTube, there's always this balance between making videos realistic whilst still being entertaining. This video, however, is going to be on the more realistic front as I've got a deadline coming up and I haven't done enough work. So it's the start of the Lent term. I'm back in Cambridge for the first time since Michaelmas, which is all very exciting. This term, it's one brief all the way through and it's centered on a theme of abandonment. So basically I'm studying this old ghost town, this abandoned mining town that used to mine lead and became very toxic so all the inhabitants had to be evacuated. Over the course of a brief, there are two major key events that happen. The first is a pin-up and the second is a final presentation. Final presentation is once we've completed the project, we present our work to external critics, architects, and the pin-up is sort of a more relaxed version of that where our in-house tutors can assess how we're getting on with our work in a more formal setting than our just day-to-day -day tutorials. And that's pin-up is on Thursday. It's super early this term, so I've got loads of work to do in order to prepare for it. So I'm in the studio for the first time ever, it's finally been allowed to open again, and I'm working on a huge 1 to 10,000 scale map of Pitcher in Oklahoma, which is the ghost town that I'm studying. In our environment lectures before Christmas, we learned about how you need different amounts of light for different activities, and drawing had one of the highest light requirements. Luckily the studio has these amazing clerestory windows, so it's an awesome place to work. I'm trying to draw this map entirely freehand instead of using a ruler. I've drawn the straight guidelines in, but I feel like using a ruler for all the final pen work will highlight mistakes and make it look childish. I might be wrong here though, I guess we'll see how it turns out. Architecture is pretty chill in that my work is just drawing all day, but when I say all day, I mean drawings take hours and hours, and I think most people are just as perfectionist as I am, in that I really obsess over all the details. So I'm having a break from my map, and I'm now back home from the studio to work on something else. I'm building a model of a dilapidated old structure. Problem is, obviously, it's all inherently broken, which makes it quite difficult to stick together. Finally managed to stick on the roof, which is extremely precarious. The only way I could actually do it is by leaning it against this glass, which is pushing the end frame against it so that it leans inwards and then it dries. It's Tuesday of the week. Yesterday I banged out loads of work in the studio from half one till six. Today I've got to try and finish my drawing and then have a reassessment about what I need to do before Thursday. And this is the progress on my dilapidated old structure model, which is finally dried. At the moment, we can only book studio slots twice a week, so aside from that, I'm making use of the marquee in my college where I live as an alternate studio space. It's actually a really great light and airy space for drawing, although can be somewhat prone to distractions. Say hi to Annabelle in the comments, everyone. So, settling down with my studio playlist and banging out some more work, at this stage in the drawing I've finished all of the major roads and features, and now I'm polishing off all of the fine details. The town has these really unique and bizarre huge piles of basically the waste products of mining lying around. They're littered all over in mountainous stacks and dominate the site plan too.
Okay, so we're done with the model. Just been taking photographs of it and we can move on to more drawings. Exciting times. Look at all this space. And I'm the only one here at the moment. <laughs> so I can make the most of that. Normally we would have desks all close together, one for each of us. At the moment, socially distanced, but we move. It's quite nice. I'm the only person in studio, which means I can play my own music and relax a little bit. Okay, so I've drawn my big map already. Now I'm drawing a smaller map or a much more close up here, which is this part here. So I want to try and finish this today and also then do a section of that site. Two drawings in one day, whereas I've done one drawing over the past three days. So, challenge. Let's go. It's the start of Act 3, Boys, Girls and Everyone Else. In case you hadn't noticed, my uni work can be a little bit repetitive. But then again, all degrees are, since they require hard work. And hard work is innately repetitive. The thing that really interests me is how interdependent my uni work and my YouTube are. YouTube helps motivate me with my uni work, but equally, my studio work literally fuels the contents of my YouTube videos. You can understand then why I've been frustrated this term, feeling like I haven't really been able to sink my teeth into this brief. I feel almost like I don't understand it, it's been really annoying and I've struggled to stay on top of my work. That being said, I worked really hard this week and I was really pleased with the work that I did manage to turn around in time for my pin-up after all. So, as ever, we move onwards and upwards, expect a bumpy ride, but we persevere nonetheless. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.